Another episode of the it's all ready to go for all you beautiful people out there watching our product. Welcome back to another episode of ZX Wrestling. Let me be real with you. Things have been crazy as of late in ZX Wrestling. I mean, <laughs> we got the Chaos Rumble coming up in a couple of weeks. I cannot wait for that. Well, not really a couple of weeks, but still, it's going to be a while. You know me, I'm your commentator, Pat Adams, EWA Grand Slam Champion, EWA World Heavyweight Champion. We've got ourselves a really good looking card for you guys. We're gonna go over in a few seconds here. I actually have it up on my notes here. If I could just go ahead and pull them up real quick. Sorry. All right, they're not there. Well, we'll just go over them right here and now. TX Wrestling TV titles on the line. Vegas Sanchez taking on Ken Reed in a TV title rematch. Again, I think this is the second time they faced off. And we also have a hardcore title championship scramble. When we said the hardcore title was back, trust me, we meant it. I cannot wait to see this. This is going to be a damn good show. Here's the challenger, Vega Sanchez alongside his brother, Pedro Sanchez, former tag team champions. Vega, obviously a former TV champ. I don't know if Pedro has ever held a TV title before. Someone's gotta dig through the ZX Wrestling archives and figure that out for us. <laughs> And obviously, we all know his opponent, a former world champion, Ken Reed. He's got a decent theme, to be honest. It does fit his character. There he is. A former world champion, the reigning TV champion. <laughs> Ken Reed has done a lot in ZX Wrestling. But now that he's the TV champ, he's got a lot more responsibilities nowadays. And as a man that has held gold before, I know what those responsibilities feel like. What am I talking about? I'm holding gold right now. I'm the freaking EWA World Champion. I gotta, I gotta not overhype myself. It's a common mistake.
Let's go ahead and get started. The ZX Wrestling Television Championship is on the line. Kenry defending against Vega Sanchez. Mike Rome, go ahead and take us away, my friend. Introducing the challenger from Barcelona, Spain, weighing in at 220 pounds, Velvet Sanchez. Velvet Sanchez. What a name. And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 219 pounds. He is the stop being so close to Ken Reed. Champion Ken Reed. Ken Reed's obviously pretty hyped up. He seems confident. And who could blame him? There's a title that Vega Sanchez had held a week ago, but then it was taken away just like that, if you could hear my fingers snapping. <laughs> Here we go. The rematch is on. Let's get started. Whoa. Nice takedown there by the champion. When was the last time we saw Ken Reed as a champion? It's been a damn long time. It's been over a year since Ken last held gold. There's always a way to end a long, 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 long streak of no titles. And Ken, uh, what are you swinging at? <laughs> Ken Reed just deciding John Cena's in this match now, so yeah, I guess we'll just go with him on that. Oh, oh. Ken still maintaining the offensive side here. Oh, big able to duck underneath a chop, but Ken Reed using that veteran instinct. This is something you gotta respect about Ken Reed. He's very, very quick. He knows when to strike. He's one of those few people that you should not underestimate in ZX Wrestling. Vega so far is doing the direct opposite of that. Something that you need to avoid. <laughs> Oh, went for another super kick, but Vega able to dodge out of the way. He says, no, 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 no. You cannot use my own move, but Vega, uh, but Ken says, fuck you. I'll use your move if I want to. And Vega responded with a hip toss. Went for another punch, but Ken blocks. Forearm and a punch and a chop. And now off the... Whoa. Physics. His feet connected with his face. That should have hit. Oh. It's just BS physics. Break ball. You want to know something? You guys suck. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Off the ropes. And, uh, and, uh, finally, you're actually hitting things. Jeez. And I'm not sure if that was intentional on the part of Ken Reed, but oh my god. That was actually really cool. Oh god. Oh! Call the dentist! And now Ken Reed is all set up. He's just standing there menacingly. Bringing him up, setting him up for the Ushigoroshi already. Into the cover to retain the television title. The referee taking forever to get into the cover. <laughs> Vega able to kick out. That was quick. That escalated incredibly quickly. Oh, Vega just saying, get me the frick out of your way, bro. I don't want anything to do with you right now. But Ken says, too bad. You're going to have to deal with me as he hits a spinning neck breaker. Bring in the challenger back up. Lock up. Throwing Vega into the, into the corner. I'm a little tired right now, so that's why my commentary might be a little lacking. But I apologize. Ken Reed up to the top rope. Send him up. Superplex. And now into the cover to retain the television title off of a superplex. Oh, barely able to power out, though. I thought I heard some This Is Awesome chants. Vega wisely rolling out of the ring. Are we going to have a repeat of last week? Where Ken Reed tries to fly, but he just falls on his ass. 
No, not that time. <laughs> that time he actually connected. It's a miracle. Lock up. Back into the ring we go. Oh, Ken might be setting up for something here. He is. He's up on the top. Elbow drop right to the back of the neck of Vega Sanchez. There's a punch and a chop and another punch. How about a forearm and a punch and a chop? Oh, no, that one was caught. Beautiful hip toss on the part of the challenger, the former television champion, the former tag team champion alongside his brother. Here we go, looking for a suplex of his own. Beautiful connection. Bringing Ken back up now. Lock up once again. And now a spinning neck breaker. Ken used that earlier, but Vega wanted to retaliate with his own. Uh-oh, bringing him up. Oh, planted him. Cover as well. Shoulders are down. Oh, kick out at two. Went for a punch. Ken able to get out of the way. And now it's his turn to go on the offensive. Oh, through the middle rope. What are you planning here? Oh, Jesus. There goes Vega. Oh, and Ken's just, Ken's just chilling. Chilling. He don't want nobody reading his thoughts. Whereas the referee is just doing his job. Can we just appreciate the ZX Wrestling logo, by the way? It looks so good on the ring cameras. I don't know why. It just does. At least WWE came to their senses and added something to their ring canvas. <laughs> Vegas says, no, that's not putting me away anytime. And Ken just let that happen. <laughs> Ken literally just let himself get hit there. That's what I call being lazy. No offense. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa. Nice cover. Shoulders are down. Legs are caught to retain the title, but a kick out of two. Vega up again. Here we go. Ushiguroshi round two. That one might do it. Cover. Shoulders are down. Leg is hooked to retain the title. Oh, Vega kicks out barely. He was at least a fraction. Like, a d oh no. Call the dentist yet again for DRT. Dr. Teeth, whatever you want to call it. All I know is that it has DR at the start of that. I'm just going to call it Dr. T. From now on, went for Sweet Chin Music Club with a clothesline. Oh, no. This one. Yeah, I think you're done, Vega. I think Vega's done. Any hopes that Vega had of re regaining the title have been dashed with a third Ushi Goroshi. Oh, it's a rope like though. And Ken obviously not happy. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna hit a fourth one. Number four for the champ. Planting him into the cover. Ken Reed is gonna retain the title. No, he's not what? I thought that was it! That's four Oshigoroshis now. How is he? Oh! That one's gonna No, it's not gonna do it. He's not going for the cover. They got able to respond. What is your plan? Oh, Lord. He just flew at him. And now, planting him on the sack. And now bringing him up again and body slamming him. Ref, get out of the way unless you want to see some magic. Unless you don't want to see some magic. From there? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> other, like, other side. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. He just failed that elbow drop miserably. There's a punch. And a punch. Well, that one was caught at least. And now it's Ken's turn to hit some punches of his own. And now, planted him with a reverse STO. And Kenry doesn't know what he's doing. There we go. And now just stomping away at the challenger. Setting him up for something. Oh, I know what he's looking for. He's on the East Coast right now. So why not take a trip to the West? 
Dragging him out of the corner. Just pin him. Oh, he's not going to. He's not going to. Spring it out to the top row for a moonsault. Into the cover to retain the television championship. Oh, Vega kicks out again. This has been a damn good TV title match. Way beyond my expectations. Oh, God, knee right to the face. That has rocked the challenger. And Ken again. Just chillaxing. Just taking his time, letting the crowd know. Oh, but Vega notices. He's like, seriously, Ken? Oh, sweet shit music. That's the first thing he's hit in like five minutes. He's not going to pin him. Is he? He's waiting for him to get up. Waiting for him to get up. Oh, no. And bop. Trying to target the legs of the challenger now, but Vega says, no, 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 no. That is not how we do things in the country of Mexico. That is not luchador wrestling. Pedro is a luchador, so how come, how come, how come Vega doesn't have a mask? Also, did I say it was in, Mex in Mexico? I meant in Spain. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that botch. Oh, it's the battle of the coast to coasts. In the south to the north. Drag him away from the ropes, pin him, and reclaim your television championship. Or not if Ken kicks out. The Sanchez from Barcelona has been faring pretty well so far, but he's not been able to, somehow he hasn't been able to win this damn thing. And Ken has hit four Ushi Goroshis, and none of them have put him away. That is impressive. Ken went for a super kick, but he gets caught with Sweet Chin music. Both men are down. The longer Vega takes, then the more likely Ken's going to kick out. There's a punch. Went for another one, but Ken was able to catch it. Vega able to catch another. Ken able to catch a punch. Vega able to catch a punch and counter with an E. Oh, there's another one. Oh, but Ken is just getting even more fired up by the second. You little son of a bitch. Boom. Boom. And boom. And now, off the ropes goes Vega for a big boot. And again, off the ropes for a leg drop. The comeback is on for the champion. And now, oh my god, what was that? What does he call that? I got it. Okay. I think Ken's got this in the bag. If he doesn't win this, I don't know what it's going to take. Because, bro, <laughs> the side effect bringing him up into the Ushi Goroshi number five. Ken Reed is going to retain the television title. Now that, that was a great TV title match. Congratulations to Ken Reed on a successful TV title defense. Let's go ahead and switch gears here and move on to our next match of the night. Beautiful choir. Looks like we got some women's tag team action for you guys next. On the way to the ring. <laughs> Mike Rome just stopped himself. I I'll just say it then. Emma Wilson and Raika will be teaming up, ladies and gentlemen.
These two seem like a pretty good tag team. I don't, I, I don't think I've seen much from them. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens with these two. And would you look who it is. The Taylor sisters, Charlotte Taylor and Jessica Taylor. These two were in a triple threat for Charlotte Taylor's um, Eve title a while ago at Rising Horizon. But Jessica didn't go after Charlotte at all, like barely. It was crazy. They were both going after Emma Wilson. That's, that's just unfair in my opinion. That's just me being honest. I try to be as honest as possible, and if, and to be honest, the Taylor sisters being in the same triple threat match, if Jessica's not going to go after the title at all, is stupid. Okay? That was just unfair. And hopefully Emma Wilson can redeem herself after that absolute robbery, in my opinion. But here we go. Emma Wilson and Charlotte Taylor will be starting off for their respective teams. Here we go. So what's the plan here? Oh, Emma went for a kick, but Charlotte said, no, 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 no. I saw that coming. Emma knew that up. Uh, what the hell is going on? Everyone is missing. <laughs> I swear, that's like the eighth. Oh my god, bye bye, Charlotte. <laughs> she just got sent flying. Yeah, wisely um, tagging out of there. Oh god. Brick wall. Oh, but never mind. That one put her down. Oh! Huge clothesline by Emma Wilson into the cover. There's two already. Wow. That was not what I was expecting. Ooh. Oh, went for another knee, but Anna able to quickly get out of the way. Turns Jessica around. The former Women's World Champion is up and oh, of course. Of course, yeah, thank you. Smart move, Emma. Oh, schoolboy roll up. There's two. Oh, kick out. Oh, just flinging herself at Jessica Taylor, but then Jessica sends Emma over to Tom Roman out of the ring. Damn. And now Emma turns her attention to the Eve Women's Champion. Charlotte gets planted down. Emma back in the ring, but Jessica's waiting for her with a schoolboy. Shoulders are down. There's not two, but definitely one. One is a definite. Oh! Christ. Emma just said, no, 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 no. If you're going to do that to me, I'm going to do that to you right back. As she absolutely sends Jessica outside the ring. Jessica again back into the ring. Went for a clothesline. Emma has got the former women's world champ up right where she wants her. Face first into the turnbuckle. Goes the former women's world champion. Dragging her away from the ropes. What are you planning here? Oh my. Tag to Raika. Now we're making moves here. Hyping herself up. I wouldn't do that too much because otherwise that'll happen. <laughs> And now, oh my, you see, this is something that you got to respect about Raika. She's an incredibly technical wrestler. She knows her way around. Uh. Okay, I get that that wasn't deliberate, but still, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ray can just fucking hurricane run at the referee. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was extremely funny. Oh my lord. 
a spinning heel kick to the former women's world champion Jessica Taylor and now in the corner there's a kick and a kick and another one right to the face and off the ropes oh my god trying to knock her out cold or something damn now targeting the legs legs or the arm oh it's the arm I thought it was the leg from the look of it and that has got to be one of the weirdest looking hurricane runners you'd ever see. If you can even call that hurricane. That's that look more like a head scissors. And now, oh Jesus! Bridging into the cover. There's two, but a kick out. What do you call that? A snap power bomb? Because that looked like it hurts. This is indeed tag team wrestling. Gut wrench. That looks horrific. Like, painfully horrific. Emma Wilson was able to save her tag team partner, but then she gets sent to the outside. And now Reika tossed off the ropes. Oh, the deep nine into the cover. There's two. Reika powers out. Barely. Lock up once again. Into the corner. Went for a put. Oh, Emma wisely tagging herself in. Saving herself. Well, saving Raika at least. But not necessarily saving herself. Because, do you see what's happening? <laughs> oh, God. Emma is just in a world of trouble right now. I mean, she's not falling, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forget this hand. She's not in the world. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I thought. I thought Jessica was going over the ropes there. <laughs> and now into off the ropes. Oh, planting her with a Samoan drop. There's a knee right to the lower back. And now dragging the former women's world champion back up and into the corner. What's the move here? Charlotte tagged herself in, and Emma's fully aware of that. Though, does absolutely not. Oh, never mind. Counters the AA. Just barely. Lock up. Charlotte tossed into the wrong corner for her team, but it's still a corner nonetheless. And Emma's able to take advantage. What are you doing, Jessica? It, it, good, good call, even though you barely connected. <laughs> and now Charlotte tossed into the official. Sorry, ref. There we go. Now you're able to toss her in the corner. There's a chop. There's a tag. Let's see some tag team action. Oh, what are you two planning? There's a... I don't know what that is. Into a double leg stomp. Off the top rope. Into the cover. Oh, but Jessica's right there. and She's going to break it up. Am I able to deal with the Jessica issue? Reika is looking to end this right here, right now. Double underhook. DDT in a cover to beat, to pin the E. Oh, no. I thought Reika was going to pin the E women's champion right then and there. But if that didn't do it, maybe this will. Meanwhile, you've got fighting on the ringside area that we can't really see, but we know what's happening. And to the drop! Cover her! Done! Reika has pinned the EVE Women's Champion. Here are your winners. You'll love to see it. Reika and Emma put on a great showing here tonight they have beat the Taylor sisters ladies and gentlemen in a heck of a time whoa 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 what are you <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say well done ladies let's move on what have we got next I don't know
Look who's back. Brandon Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. He came back at Rising Horizon. And now he's back in action here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Fallen is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Blackpool, England. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Barton Anderson. A former world champion, a former UK champion. This man is a future ZX Wrestling Hall of Famer if we ever do one. Yeah, I hope I hope we can do one. That one ought to be that ought to be great. Now his entrance is pretty long, so while I have the chance, I'm gonna go refill my water because uh, my tongue's getting a little dry for some reason. I'll be right back, y'all. He's still doing his entrance? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I just ran to get some water. But here comes his opponent. Another former UK champ. The inaugural UK champ. A two-time UK champ. Blake Windsor, ladies and gentlemen. Bring in that no-nonsense persona of his. We're just over the half hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. If you're still tuning in with us, thank you so much for watching. We're not done yet, though, because our main event is indeed a hardcore title. Well, championship scramble. Blake's not a, he's not a cool guy, but hey, he has a really cool thing on him. That's one thing I'll say. Dude got a mustache, what the hell? And I thought my mustache looked ugly. <laughs> Let's get started. Brandon Anderson versus Blake Widzer, two former United Kingdom champions in their own respective right. Oh, Blake already went on the attack, but Brandon was able to catch Blake off guard. And here we go, our third match of the night officially underway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right to the chest. Hanging him up again, once again, right to the chest. This guy's like Gunther, he's constantly hitting those those chops right to the right to the middle of the chest right here in the heart and he's already got a submission hole locked in but Blake able to quickly get out of that holy hell well he's obviously improved in his he's obviously improved his wrestling if he just focused on that more instead of having to cheat 99% of the time then hey maybe he'd actually be a hall of famer <laughs> uh oh 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 He's just doing one-arm push-ups on him. That is disrespectful. And I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm such a hypocrite. I literally, I'm, I'm praising people for just messing around with their opponents. And SMA does that like 99% of the time. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Oh, God. 
Lock up. Into the corner. Blake cobbled a clothesline into the turnbuckle. And now Brandon Anderson looking to continue to make the former two-time UK champ suffer. Oh my god. And now into the cover. He just dislocated his fucking shoulders. Two all. Oh, still able to power out though. And I thought Pete Dunn was the master of limb manipulation. Because god damn. I I've never seen that happen ever. <laughs> Back into the ring we go. And now taking Blake's arm, twisting and contorting it. Ew. That looks fucking painful. Oh my god. <laughs> Brandon has a thing for arms, I think. He's got like a. I don't know. I don't, I don't call it. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm a little mixed about it, to be honest. He's still going after Blake's arm. He's he's making Blake pay for all the times that Blake cheated to win matches. And let me just say, Blake has done that a lot. From I, I know that from experience. I mean, I've been in this place for almost two years now. So what am I talking about? Locked up. Oh, again! <laughs> Damn! He's just making sure he suffers. And now, dropping him face first. Brandon Anderson into the cover. To beat Blake Windsor just like that. Oh, but Blake powered out somehow. And now again taking the yarn, twisting and contorting it once again. Brandon has just been showing no mercy whatsoever. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Well, now Blake is finally starting to get back into the swing of things after friggin' five years. And that... You have got to be kidding me. Of course, you got to take off the damn turnbuckle. He knows he's losing, so... Checking to make sure the ref is distracted. Brass knucks? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I friggin' knew it. Ref! Ugh. Ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous. Now, now, where are you taking him? Uh, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. I like this. Oh, mine. I don't like this anymore. And now, locking in a pretty bad looking headlock. Uh, get out of Brandon, please. Thank you. I want Brandon to win this. Because Blake's a piece of shit. Uh-oh. Got him up. Oh, no. Damn it. Reverse DDT. And it, can you stop taking off the fucking turnbuckle? And he's taking off another one. What? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh, no. He's throwing him into the exposed turnbuckle. That's the same way I lost the Rising Horizon. Oh, Lord, the Windsor Cutter. He won. He's, he's won. He's won. Oh! Brandon's still in it. He's still in it. I was ready to friggin' be pissed off. I was ready for that. Can you quit taking off the turn buckle? You friggin' coward. Oh, Brandon sees this. Brandon sees this. Float him into the exposed turn buckle. Karma's a bitch. And now to the other side of the ring they go. The referee is still distracted, so maybe maybe Brandon can pull something of his own. I don't, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, planting him. The doom drop. Into the bridging Fujiwara armbar. The amputator is locked in. Blake Windsor is no choice but to tap out. Brandon Anderson is back, ladies and gentlemen. And that is karma for Blake Windsor. You love to see it.
Congratulations, Brandon Anderson, on a successful return to the ring. Let's go ahead and move on to our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Well, would you look at this? Drew Hero. Okay, I love this new mix of his theme song. Drew Hero is the guy who eliminated me from the 2023 Chaos Rumble. <laughs> I have not forgotten that, Drew. I have not forgotten that, and I will never forget that. It's my first Chaos. It was my first Chaos Rumble, so what do you expect? I love this song. Skillet is such a good band. I'm so glad I had a few of their songs in my theme. I had Psycho in my head, then I had Destiny, and now I've got Eye of the Star by Pop Evil. Here comes one of the greatest United States champions of all time. Adrian Washington, the Patriot of ZX Wrestling, is here. While these entrances are going on, I want to go over the rules of a championship scramble. There will be a 20-minute time limit at Mike Rump's Here are the rules of a championship scramble match. Five men in the ring, obviously. There are no disqualifications. No count outs. You can gain falls by pinfalls or submission. And if you gain a pinfall, then you will be the hardcore champion. After you gain a fall, you have to prevent any other person from getting either a pinfall or submission. So that way you do not lose the championship. If someone does get another pinfall, then they will be the champion. This will continue until time is up. And then the most recent person to have gotten a pinfall by the time time is up will be the new world, uh, well not world champion, but hardcore champion. Who's next? My first ever opponent, Bobby Adams, a man well known for his United States Championship Open Challenge. We have a whole Keith Apple was bored about that one. <laughs> I miss making those videos. I gotta do another one of those trilogies. They were so awesome. Yeah, I'm just breaking the fourth wall there, to be honest. <laughs> Can you blame me? He's got a pretty good theme. Who's coming out next? Oh, it's wait, no. I thought it was Retching. When was the last time we've seen this guy? I have not missed Reaper at all. I have not missed him. Did 
his theme song is bad. Okay. That's the only thing. Such a good thing. But here comes the champion. In about right now, actually. Retchy. A reigning hardcore champion. And interesting fact here. Whenever we whenever we do these championship scramble matches, then there's something a little there's something a little like, I, I I still don't know I still don't know why this works so well. I'll figure it out eventually. Whenever someone gets a pinfall in a championship scramble match, then their title rank is technically counted in the championship record. So I'm looking through right here. Rechi is a one, two, three, four, five. And I got friggin' I have no idea. I lost count. <laughs> I think it's two or three? I think it's only two or three times. One, two, three. Three times! There we go, three times. Figured it out. Let's get started. The ZX Wrestling Hardcore Championship is on the line in a 20-minute championship scramble. No disqualification. No countouts. Everything is legal. Get a fall by pinfall or submission, you are the champion. Don't let anyone else get a pinfall after you, though, because if you do, then that title will be gone. Here we go! And everyone already off to a- oh, yeah, low blows are also allowed. <laughs> Everything is allowed in this match. How come, how come Jax Harper... How come Jax Harper hasn't defended his title in any of these? Because this match is perfect for him. Because everything's legal. I mean, I've got him- I've got the- I've got the friggin' bastard in a last man standing match in a few weeks, so this- this gives me time to adapt to a more hardcore vi environment. Uh-oh. Oh no! Reggie gets planted face first! That's the champion! And remember, Reggie does not have to be pinned to lose the championship in this match. Anyone can pin anyone. So this match could go on for a while. Well, it's gonna go on 20 minutes guaranteed, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Alabama slam the Reaper. Oh, backbreaker by Bobby Adams. Bobby out of the cover. Reggie's right there, though. He's going to break it up. And even, if he, even if he did let that cover happen, then it wouldn't really matter because, well, he would have 19 minutes to get the title back. But he plants. Drew Hero into the cover. Shoulders are uh, the ref right in front of you, idiot. <laughs> oh, my lord. These referees are idiots sometimes. Over the top rope goes Adrian Washington and out of the ring. Pitfalls can happen outside of the ring as well. The false count anywhere rule applies. You could go over the fucking barricade for all I know, and the pinball would still apply. Neck breaker by the champion to Drew Hero. Reaper taking advantage of the champion. This would be a good environment for. Uh, Retchy and Reaper to get a pin, but pins wouldn't really matter in this scenario. Because like, I mean, Retchy would still be like, okay, how does this work? If Retchy is the champ and he pins someone, would that technically count as another championship reign? Oh, Reaper, uh, someone break that up, please. Thank you. Never mind. Retchy, Retchy kicked out of it. If there's one person I do not want to win this, to win the scramble, it's Reaper. Reaper is such a pain in the ass. I beat him before. He's a former cruiserweight champion as well, and he cheated to get half of those. Into the corner again goes Adrian Washington. There's an elbow right to Bobby Adams. Retchy thrown into the ring. Reaper outside of the ring. Dazed as I don't know. Drew Hero planting him into the cover to add the hardcore title to his resume. I don't think he got it, did he? I'm not sure. <laughs> I swear, he's- Oh, freaking hell! <laughs> Absolutely planted him! 
if there's anybody I think that we should keep our eyes out for, it would have to... Oh, Adrian, into the cover! I was listening for a, a, a count, but the referee is just being incredibly lazy today. Should I just... Should I just grab a referee uniform since the referee isn't doing anything? I, I, it's, it's tempting, but... Oh, wait, Reaper! Reggie, please! Thank you. Really appreciate that, Reggie. I do not want to see Reaper win a title in this match at all. Oh, God. There's a vert beautiful... There's a beautiful vertical suplex. There we go. That's English that I can speak. Planting Reaper is Reggie. And now... Oh, good counter there. Good counter there by Reggie. Adrian and Drew still going at it. Backbreaker by Reggie to Bobby. And, just because, and I'm going to say this again. Me and Bobby, we're not brothers. I'm Canadian, and he's... I don't know where he's from. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to Mike Rubb's introduction. Oh, the stunner! Reggie's down. Oh, but he just sprung right back up. That stunner did not do shit. Reggie has been on a roll this match. No one has gotten the pinfall yet. That's actually kind of surprising. That's very surprising. Off the ropes goes Reggie. Went for a super kick. Bobby Adams did not connect, though. And Reggie brings him up for a vertical suplex attempt, but he does not succeed. Everyone is in the ring now. The referee is caught up in the middle of this. I don't know what's going on anymore. And I am a commentator. I'm supposed to know what's going on here, but I actually do not know what the fuck is going on here other than the fact that Reaper is being absolutely destroyed by Drew Hero right here, <laughs> and Bobby Adams. I think they knew I'd like that. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Appreciate it. Oh, wait. Another cover. Oh, that's broken up quickly. Drew has a chair to Bobby Adams. Oh, but he rolled out of the way. Reggie now taking his attention to Bobby Adams. Reggie is going to point him face first. Just opposite of the chair. Jay. Boom. Plant him. Uh, Bobby Adams just flipping off. Who are you flipping off, Bobby? Uh-oh. Bobby. Oh, no. Reaper rolled through. Reggie. Thank you. I needed that. Continuing to hammer away is Reggie. And I think Bobby's bleeding now. There's a chair waiting for you in the ring there, Bobby, if you ever need it. Manable claw locked in. He gets a submission here. Then, well, I don't know how that worked, but Drew able to break up the pin. Very good call. Oh, and he just gets burned on the outside. That's karma. Cover in the ring. Reggie looking to become... Oh, he, he got it. I, I, okay, I'm just... He, he did it again. He did it again. <laughs> Does that count as an official? I'm just I'm looking at the rule book here. Um, in championship scrambles, if a champion gets multiple pinfalls, it does not count towards the time mode. Okay, so Reggie's technically still the champion. But there's another cover. Reaper was trying to get it. You cheeky son of a bitch, Reaper. I I'm glad you didn't get it. I'm actually glad. Reaper going after Bobby Adams. Adrian is just the innocent bystander in all this. Well, he's about to become a guilty bystander if he goes after someone here. Reggie is just bullying Drew Hero right now. He's into the cover again. Got him. That's another fall. I swear. Reggie's having a great time. Oh boy. Oh oh boy. Oh 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 bone. Oh bone they are. There's another cover in the ring. How many how many pinfalls has Reggie had? He's obviously still not champion, but come on. That's a little too little too many pinfalls there, brother. A little too many. And now Bobby! Bobby Adams, what are you doing, my friend? Reggie has had every single pinfall right now. It, it doesn't count towards the official championship record, but it's still a lot of pinfalls. Bobby under the cover. That's broken up by Reaper. Admittedly, a wise choice on his part. Over the top rope goes Reaper, and out of the ring goes Reaper. Drew Hero follows suit. Bobby Adams going after Adrian Washington. 
one of them could get it here. I wouldn't be surprised if Adrian Washington was able to pick up a title here too. Now this dumbass, slow-ass suplex. I still don't know why 2K added that. That's just the slowest thing ever. It's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Rechi. Oh, Adrian going after the champion and plays it with a blue thunderbolt. Cover on Rechi to earn a championship. Adrian got it. Adrian's the champion right now. Okay. Adrian has to hold on for 11 and a half minutes. That is 750 seconds right there. 750 painstaking seconds. But I don't, I don't think it's going to... Uh, yeah, that's not going <laughs> to... That's not going to be possible. Oh, never mind. Adrian just chips right back up and throws Reggie out of the ring. And now Adrian looking to take his time. Just, you need to have eyes in the back of your head for this match. Because you have four others in this. Oh, and that's a uh, little. Whoa, the referee just put his hands up like, come on, put him up, boy. I, I'm a ref, but I can fight. <laughs> Everyone is on the outside of the ring. I've never seen this before. Oh, God, until the ref goes Reggie. <laughs> I love this match so much. I love these matches. This should be a, a bi-weekly thing. The women should have this sort of match, too. Reaper went for the cover, but Adrian wa is wisely breaking it up to make sure he does not lose the title. Uh, I think he might be about to lose it there if he's not careful. Oh, Bobby going after the one, well, now the former hardcore champion. So that's that's one title reign for Adrian. I just don't know how long it's going to last. Rechi planted someone there. There's a cover in the ring. I think that was uh, Rechi, but Bobby Adams was able to break it up, I believe. Oh, basement drop kick by Reaper as we now enter the halfway, par the halfway point of this match. There goes Reaper. And now Reggie grabbing the steel steps. Legal. But, Re but oh, there was another cover by Bobby Adams, but no sorry. Reaper able to absolutely just break Reggie's face there, I think. Kick to the gut by Reaper. Looking for a DDT. Oh, never mind. He's just spinning him. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Thank you, Bobby, for breaking that up. I do not want to see Reaper gain a title at all. It's now the referee is getting back in the ring. Bobby Adams is joining Reaper. Reaper notices that, and he's going to take advantage. He's going to take advantage here, folks. I don't know how long that's going to last him, though. Oh, Jesus. And Reggie, damn. <laughs> Reggie just got the chair kicked out of him. Damn. Reaper falls into a cover. Uh, someone want to break that up, please? Thank you. Thank God Bobby kicked out. Rechi realizes, Rechi realizes what he's up to. He says, no, 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 I am not letting you do this. That is a, that is a submission for Rechi. Rechi regains the championship. That makes him a four-time hardcore champion now. But now Adrian's in a little bit of a dilemma here. We still got just over eight minutes left in this match. Eight minutes and 16 seconds. So if everyone still has time. Hey, Rechi, that doesn't help you. <laughs> Getting multiple pinfalls does not help you in this scenario. Oh, went for... I think he was going for a spear. I don't know what that was, but whatever it was, it seemed to be effective. Alabama slam into the cover to become a nut to... Two-time? Two-time? Two-time for Adrian. Adrian regains the hardcore title, making him the 20th. Well, that's a 20th official hardcore title ring, but how long is this gonna last? Uh-oh. Plants it again. Dude, Reggie is on a roll into the cover once again. The referee is taking five years. And Bobby's gonna break it because the referee can't make up his mind. He can't make up his mind if he wants to go to Chick-fil-A or just count a cover. Bobby is really smart right now. He's broken up so many pinfalls. Breaking pinfalls up though doesn't really get you anywhere to be honest because you still, you still need to get pinfalls of your own, Bobby. You are yet to get a pinfall. It's just been Adrian and Reggie that's been getting pinfalls. No one else has had a pinfall. And Adrian is using a fucking sledgehammer right now. Talk about brutality.
And in the corner goes Rechi. Oh! Just absolutely destroying them. There's one splash into a second splash. Now what's he planning? He's getting the sledgehammer again. And Drew is just hyping himself up. Oh, into the barricade. And now, oh, blue thunderbomb. Adrian Washington. Uh, this is not going to help you, buddy. Uh, I'm still the champ, dude. Unless Reggie got the fall earlier, and I completely missed that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who's that jumping out the sky? Lord. This freaking Reaper right there, and now he's wisely going to the outside of the ring. Emphasis on wisely. And now, I think Bobby's done here. Bobby, he's got to tap. If he doesn't tap, yep. That is another championship raid for Rechi. He regains the title. He's got six minutes to hold on to that thing, though. So that now makes him a one, two, three, four, five time hardcore champion. Bobby, Bobby going for a cover to become the new hardcore champion, but a kick out. Not today. Adrian, dude, Rechi and Adrian put these two in a mainline hardcore match. No championship scramble. That ought to be a banger. Drew Hero into the cover to get him. <gasps> Drew Hero just won the... Oh, okay, so I did miss something earlier. Okay, so that... That's one, two, three, four, six. That is six... Six-time hardcore champion for Rechi and three times for Adrian. I, Adrian got a pinfall earlier that I missed. Okay. But Drew Hero is now the champion. It's just, the question remains, how long can he hold on to it? He's got to go five minutes. Five minutes with no pinfalls, and we have a new champion. Adrian Washington gets sent with a Hurricane Rana. Rechi is slowly bringing himself back up. Over the top rope, and out of the ring goes Bobby. And now Rechi continuing to lay the beat down on Adrian into the cover to become seven-time hardcore champion. Got him. Rechi got it back. Bobby Adams, oh, Reaper rolls through. Shoulders are down, someone break that up, please. Someone break that up, someone break it up, shit. Reaper's the champion now. Uh, please, someone get a pinfall, I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see Reaper as the hardcore champion anymore. So the Reaper's the champ now. Um, in, he's gotta hold on to that for four minutes. Four minutes is 100% possible, but this is the point of the match where everyone goes all out. Oh, Reaper getting tossed around. Over the top rope goes Reaper. This could be good. This could be good for everyone else. There's a wait, there's a cover in the ring. Reggie, that's Reggie to pitch. Reggie for eight time. Oh, kick out by Drew. Reaper saw that a little bit too late, but he's dude, he's got the energy of use. Uh. <laughs> Another cover, but oh, he took out the ref in the process. He took out the ref. Drew took out the ref. Oh no, this is not good. And Skadoosh. Reggie is down. Reaper's still the champ, though. Can we do something about this? Uh oh. Bull Thunderbomb. He's not going for the cover, though. Submission hold. Broken up by... Oh, hang on. Another cover. Another cover. Reggie's there. Is he going to break it up? He does. It's smart to break up. Oh, he's going for one of his own. He's going for one of his own. But the referee is extremely hurt. There's two. Reggie is eight time. Eight hardcore titles for Reggie. He needs to hold on this for two minutes. Two and a half minutes. It's possible. Believe me, it's possible. Oh, God. Reaper is making quick work of Rechi right now. Adrian flipping through, luckily. And now Adrian Washington bringing him up. Planting him with a Falcon's arrow. Drew Hero's right there, though. He saw all of that. And he says, no, 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 no. You are not doing that. Reaper and Adrian Washington in the ring now. Everyone else is just going at it. Two more minutes. We got a cover in the ring. Adrian. Adrian's the champ. He's only got to hold on to that for two minutes. He's got to go two minutes with no title changes. 
Adrian thrown out of the ring. Bobby Adams capitalizing on a distracted Reaper, bringing him up, planting him once again. This has been an insane match. And now, bringing him up, boom! Fireman's carry, Gunbuster, taking a page out of Nick Roy's book, into the cover. Bobby's got the title back, Drew was too late. Drew was way too late. That's Bobby with the championship now. 80 seconds left on the clock. Dude, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Oh no, Reaper. I'm, I'm not liking where this is going. Reaper, power bomb to Bobby Adams. And now into the cover to become a two-time hardcore champion. Please, no. Damn it. And he only has one minute. He's got hold of this for one minute. Oh, Drew, Drew. Drew Hero, boom, planting Adrian into the cover. I don't hear a count. Oh, there it was, he got him, Drew got him. Okay, 40 seconds left for Drew Hero. There is still endless possibilities right here. As we come to the final moments of this match, who will walk out as hardcore champion? There has been a total of 15 Title changes, maybe 16, no! Broken up by Bobby Adams, 20 seconds left on the clock. Drew Hero plants Bobby, very, very wise. Going into another cover, but that was broken up by Reaper. 13 seconds left on the clock. Everyone is rallying on the rim. 10 seconds left, who's gonna win it all? Six seconds, someone's gotta go for a cover here. Reggie's going in for the cover, but it's gonna be too late. Drew Hero is the new hardcore champion. Congratulations, Drew Hero. You are the new hardcore champion. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of DX Wrestling. We'll see y'all next week. Peace.